So how did uh, practice go this morning, Richard? Well, it went pretty well, I thought. Um, it's quite busy, there's a lot of cars on the track, but uh, you don't seem to... Um, sometimes I've been in the it and it uh, seems still, the corner seems, seems still to go the same way. <laughs> so it's good, yeah. So a bit slippy out there? Not really. Uh, I think it'll get slippier if, um, if this drizzle continues, but it was actually pretty good, the track, uh, on the first practice. So uh, what's a good time in this car do you do? Well, um, actually I didn't check it before I came out, so I should be interested to see what, uh, how I look. I seem to be going a bit faster this season than I did last, uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. And what events are you out in today? I'm out in the first race and the second to last race. The first race is a scratch race and the second to last is a handicap. Could you give me a brief history about the car? When did you oh, come into possession? Is the, the engine is the original 1936 Le Mans engine. Uh, the Le Mans car was destroyed, and this is a reconstruction of it, uh, because, of course, Le Gond has won Le Mans in 1935, and so they, Fox and Nickel created this car to win again in 36. The race was cancelled, so it won its, won its class in the Belgian Grand Prix, the French Grand Prix, and the TT race in Ireland. So. Uh, it's uh, they were quite successful cars in their time. So how long have you had it? Uh, I've had it about five or six years, um, probably about six years now. Uh, in fact, I bought it as it was being, uh, as the reconstruction was being built, and I got the original engine and put it in it. So um, uh, I've had it all the time. It's been running. Well, thank you very much for the interview. I hope you have a, a couple of good races. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Bye.